Today I'll be showing you how to make a plaster mask fitted to your face. You will need a garbage bag, towel, warm water in a bowl, plaster strips, Vaseline, plastic wrap, and scissors. One foot of thin elastic and a friend. Your first step, you're going to lay your plastic bag on the floor, preferably a tile floor where spills are easy to clean up. You're going to roll the towel to form a pillow. Get your subject to rub Vaseline all over their face, a lot on the eyebrows. The eyes only need a small amount because the plastic wrap will be covering them. Plastic wrap will also cover the nose. Dip a plaster strip in warm water. These strips are usually cut in 1 inch by 3 inch strips or whatever size you feel comfortable working with. Start with the T of the face, the forehead, then the nose. This will keep your mask strong. Make sure you build up at least 2 to 3 layers. Ask the person how they're doing, just to make sure they feel comfortable. Depending on what type of mask you are planning on making, you might choose to cover the mouth. For this demonstration, I will show a mask without a mouth. When applying the strips, place evenly on the face and rub gently until all the holes in the plaster are filled. When the mask feels stiff and dry, ask your subject to move every muscle in their face. This will make the mask loose and you'll be able to peel it off the face. You can now add more plaster strips to emphasize your character's features. Paint your mask however you wish, keeping in mind highlights and shadows. Acrylic paint works best for this. You will now want to cut out the eye holes. For this, use an X-Acto knife or scissors. Be very careful. Cut off any extra plaster around the mask to create a smooth edge. Using a thumbtack, poke two holes about a centimeter from the edge of your mask. These will be placed near the temple. Attach an elastic and you are now ready to wear your mask. 